In this video, we're going to take a look at the AI tool for teachers called QuestionWell. This is an AI tool that will help you generate a list of questions based on a student reading passage. And the thing that I really like about this tool is not only will it generate the question, but then it allows you to export it to a variety of quizzing tools that you may already be using. So let's take a look and see how this tool works. So I'm going to click the Try It Out button. You will need to sign in with your Google account and you may need to authenticate that account, so just follow the prompts there to do that. Once you're signed in, it's going to ask you for a topic, a subject, and a grade. You can also um, create the questions in a variety of languages, and then it's going to ask you for a reading passage. So I am actually, uh, let's say in, uh, we're doing fifth grade social studies. And I can put a subject in or I can just leave it at that. But that at least gives the AI uh, an idea of what grade level you're working with and how to generate the questions based on that grade level. Now here is where you're going to copy and paste the student reading. This could be from an online textbook. This could be from another website. And you would just copy and paste that text in here. But what I like to do is I've actually found this reading on uh, Wonderopolis about the first casualty of the American Revolution. Instead of copying and pasting the text, I'm going to take the URL to this website and I'm going to pop that in here to where I'm supposed to put the reading passage. And it will take the AI just a few seconds to um, either uh, go out and find that text or work with the text that you have. Now, Wonderopolis also comes with a bunch of stuff in here that I don't actually need the AI to um, evaluate. So I'm going to come in here and delete some of this extraneous information so that the AI only has the article, the information on the first casualty of the American Revolution. If I scroll down here, you will notice that on the free version, you are limited to a thousand words. I am using the free version today. If you upgrade to the paid version, you can put in as many as 5,000 words of a reading passage. Here is where I can add my uh, learning outcomes if I want to. If I don't, the AI will generate that for me. Again, I'm using the free version today, but if I were to upgrade, I would be able to choose different types of questions. On the free version, it's only generating multiple choice questions. And if I were to upgrade, I would also be able to choose my state so that it would match the standards to that state. So I'm going to go ahead and click Generate Set. And this will take a few minutes for the AI to evaluate the text and generate a list of appropriate questions. So you may have to wait up to a minute for the AI to work. Okay, so the AI has done its work and evaluated my text, and we can see over here on the right-hand side that it has generated a list of questions for me. Now, depending on the article, depending on the passage, the AI will generate as many as 20 questions. In this article, it's given me 11 different questions. Now, for each question, I can choose if I want it to be included. I can copy the question, I can delete the question, or I can flag the question. I also have the ability to change or edit the question if I need to, if something isn't quite right. And remember, AI doesn't always get it right, so you always have to read all of the questions and the answer choices to make sure that they are correct. I can always evaluate uh, or edit questions and answers. I can even add my own questions if I want to. And if I'm not really sure about this question and the answer choices, it does give me a check with Google search option. So if I scroll back up to the top, we'll see that I have the ability to print this. So I could print a quiz and give a paper and pencil quiz um, this way. Now on the left hand side, you'll see uh, some different options. You'll see the essential questions that it came up with for this article. Um, this is a paid feature, but I also have the learning outcomes that it generated. And it tells me how many different questions were generated for each learning outcome. And if I click on that, it's gonna filter out all the other questions and just show me that learning outcome. So for my quiz, I liked all of these questions. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them to include. Now this is where the magic happens on the export. When I click on export and click on the drop down list, you will see that I have a variety of places that I can export this to. If I like quizzes or Kahoot, this will export to a spreadsheet file and then I can import that into that tool. If I'm using GimKit or Blookit, it will export a CSV file and then again, I go to that tool and I import that tool. You can actually link your Quizlet account to QuestionWell. And what I really like also, since we signed in with Google, it gives me the Google Forms and Google Slides. 
or Google Slides, and it will export the questions into a form or a slideshow. So it's got to done its work, and I can click View in Google Forms. It's going to open up that Google Form that it created for me. It's already set it to a quiz. It's marked the correct answers. And so if I choose to give my students a quiz in this manner, I can share this with my students. Um, remember, with a Google Form, you can actually go in and edit the form so that if you want to add some directions or any of those kinds of things, um, you can do that when you uh, get access to the Google Form. So I like QuestionWell. If I need a quick tool to create questions for me based on a student reading passage, QuestionWell is a great option. <music>